Hi and welcome to TRX Bench. Well, I really like my little um, power supply here. Uh, it is really, really nice as it has right re resolution and everything. But uh, I do not like that uh, when I switch it on that uh, I have a red LED indicating that uh, the supply is switched on so that we have our requested voltage on our output um, pins here. So that should be green and uh, that is uh, something I want to change. It's not a big deal um, and it's not uh, really difficult but maybe one or the other is interested to see how we can manage it. Okay, so that should not uh, really uh, difficult. So we only have here some screws around and uh, then we get access. Okay, so we have here our housing um, off and um, well, the build quality is uh, really better than uh, expected. Um, so also all the safety um, wiring is uh, done in a good way so maybe we should uh, test it afterwards uh, on the tester if everything is uh, uh, fulfilling um, the rules uh, but uh, I mean other than that um, you see here uh, is our um, digital uh, PCB and uh, it really all looks quite nice so here are the power transistors and uh, the big uh, filter cap and of course here right uh, in the middle uh, our uh, 5 uh, ampere um, linear uh, transformer so really that uh, all looks quite nice so okay it shouldn't be a big deal uh, to get uh, this PCB out and I hope that uh, I will be then able to uh, get down to our uh, LEDs. Alright, so I didn't want it uh, to take too much apart. So uh, here is uh, our little um, digital uh, PCB and uh, down here we have now our uh, LED. Uh, PCB and um, yeah, I hope that uh, when I go and uh, lose uh, these four screws, I can take this PCB out, and uh, then I hope we uh, have um, yeah finally uh, access to this um, red LED, which uh, I want to go to change into green. Okay, and this is now our display board and uh, we have to uh, change this LED here. Um, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, as I do not have um, any data of uh, this LED, and I mean it is not uh, really uh, complicated, but uh, we have LEDs with uh, different uh, currents in um, the field so um, I know that uh, there is a 330 ohm uh, resistor um, connected uh, in front of the diode and I just want to see what uh, is our our dropping voltage so it is 1.76 1.77 so that is uh, the uh, voltage drop here with our LED and uh, you see the LED is uh, nicely um, on with this uh, voltage so um, yeah let uh, me now switch a 330 ohm resistor in front and uh, then um, I can uh, have a look what kind of diodes I have uh, in stock because I know I have really low current uh, types uh, in, in, in stock so um, I need to try uh, to get uh, roughly the same uh, brightness. 
okay and uh, what we can see here I have uh, a 330 ohm resistor in front and uh, that is uh, exactly the same what uh, we have here on uh, our PCB and uh, now I'm feeding this uh, little circuit with uh, 5 volt and um, yeah it is not readable and uh, it is uh, also a little bit difficult uh, to test it in circuit but I believe this is a, a 5 volt uh, voltage uh, regulator even I can't read it really anyways um, this uh, illumination uh, seems to prove it that uh, uh, our circuit is working with uh, five um, with five volt, and uh, now I'm uh, in uh, trusted. What will be our uh, current through the circuit? And I just want to show you. I mean, there are different ways to do it, but I just wanted to show you how you can indirectly measuring the current because you know normally current is measured in series with um, the uh, component which is drawing the current in our case uh, our little um, uh, LED so normally I would place a, uh, um, a meter an amp meter in in series with uh, this little circuit but uh, we want to do it different so you always can do it uh, by measuring the uh, current in an in an uh, indirect way and that is what I want to show you okay to test the indirect uh, current we need the voltage over a known resistor and we know that uh, this resistor here has um, 330 ohm okay and we assume for any reason we are not uh, able to test our current in series how we would normally do it so we need uh, the voltage drop over the resistor but first of all let us uh, just uh, check what uh, the voltage drop over our diode is because we have tested it before with our diode test and uh, our uh, ground is here connected uh, to the cathode of uh, our diode so when I now test here over the uh, diode we read 1.9 volt which uh, is um, the voltage drop over our um, uh, diode and uh, normally I could now easily swap here my clamp over so my uh, you can't see it really so this is my uh, ground clamp and I could now easily swap it over here to the uh, resistor to uh, directly test or probe the voltage drop over uh, our uh, resistor but uh, let us do it a little bit different uh, this time we know and we can uh, check it once again so we know our complete voltage is 5 volt all right and we know that our voltage drop over our diode is 1.9 so what we uh, can do easily 5 minus 1.9 means 3.1 volt is now the voltage drop over our resistor um, I hope that is uh, clear so far but uh, as uh, we uh, said it before we are interested in the current which is uh, flowing here through our little circuit and therefore I uh, can uh, use Ohm, Ohm's law and uh, we are looking for uh, the current I and uh, I is equal uh, to 3.1 volt over the resistor 330 ohm all right so if I now 
uh, put it here into my calculator. So let me see if I can go out a little bit. So 3.1 uh, divided by 330 ohm will give me approximately 10 milliamps. So this is then obviously a more or less normal diode because uh, most of our diodes can be operated with approximately 10 uh, milliamps and uh, our uh, calculator is uh, proving it as 9.39 uh, exponent minus 3, I hope you can read it, means that this is 9.39 three milliampere all right and therefore that is approximately 10 um, and uh, knowing this um, I can say this is a normal uh, diode which is uh, operating with um, 10 milliamps I mean I have already known it when I saw the 330 uh, ohms, but uh, I just uh, wanted to demonstrate how you can figure it out and that is simply the way. Okay, and now I have here a green LED under test. I don't know if it uh, really comes uh, over, but uh, for me it seems that uh, the intensity is more or less similar. So, um, same conditions, let me put this uh, diode here into our uh, circuit and uh, then let's see how it looks like. Okay, as you can see the green, uh, the size of the green LED is a little bit smaller than uh, the red ones. So uh, we really need uh, to line it up. But um, by the look uh, of it, it uh, seems to be uh, fine without a problem. So that means now I uh, solder it in and uh, then ah, let's uh, bring it back into the housing and let's see how it looks like. Okay, so all is uh, back. And uh, yeah, let's look how it looks like. Okay, so this is now where you can, of course, uh, adjust, adjust your unit. And um, now it is uh, shown the maximum current you have uh, adjust this uh, power supply to. And if you switch it on, because we are drawing no power, it should show zero. And then our out LED should come up. And it will. So, and uh, I would say this is much better to have a green out LED than to have it all in red. So now it is much easier to see that uh, it is really switched on and that there is output so I guess that is uh, what it means right so I would uh, put have down on but uh, anyways we have a green LED and I like it okay and everything is back in place and uh, it is working just fine this was uh, really a little video hope that uh, it is uh, interesting for one or the other and uh, if you like it please give me a big thumb up and catch you next time. Bye!